what's up guys um welcome to my first video i'm emmanuel and uh today i'm just going to run you through how i created these three renders the lighting um we are not going to go deep into the texture and we're just going to go into the lighting and how i set up the and the lights i did all this in cinema 4d and redshift so let me just show you how i did it so right now we're in cinema 4d and uh, for starters i have one two three four five six six lights and uh, all these lights have an effect also on the model so um let me first run the ipr here so that you can see what we have so i have this um flat looking boring thingy i don't know what it is to not even render um i'll first turn on my dome light and i set the intensity of the dome light to zero so that i can easily isolate my lights yeah i can easily isolate my lights with the intensity on zero let me just dock this somewhere here so that we can have two views now for this kind of lighting um we have one light it is slightly to the back of the of the of the model and if i'm to show you here let's just get out of, of the camera so this is the light and when i turn it on you can see the effect it is already having it is slightly just slightly behind the model um let me just get it out of the background a bit because right now it is a bit to the more to the background um i'm getting to its view then i'll just do this come on to it Because the idea is to light the background so when you light the background you separate the model from the background which is actually something good especially when you're doing like reveal animations when you're revealing the product this would be the nice way to go um, that's how I created this light um, if I'm to change the, the background the background is a bit um, lighter i could just do like any lighter background something like that and that's how i created the first this first look here that is how i created it um it's just one light slight to the back of the of the model um to be honest and fair enough you could position this light the way you want uh, i can just push it back a bit just to light the background more and you still have something interesting and nice looking or you could bring it more to the, towards the model And it will still be something nice looking so for now i'll just keep it to the background yeah and be free to play around with these lights the way you like because the more you play around with them is the more you create something that is different something that is unique and you also get to put in your like put in your style you create like a style for your own self the more you experiment um for this for this second setup i as you can see the light is coming from this direction yeah and you could use two lights for this but i'd used one you can use two lights one to light from the top and one to light just from the side but um, for the sake of this program, I'm only going to use one. So let's turn off this and 
get back into our camera view. Now I placed my key light to the left as you can see and when I turn it on this is how it looks like. Let me just turn this into a grey background like that, something like that. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, let's make it a bit lighter. Something like that. Yeah, and that is how I created this. So, as I said, you can add the top light and you would still have something nice since this would separate the, the the model from the background which just have to reduce its exposure just a bit maybe to something like that so that you can have that highlight um that highlight just a bit subtle not too much yeah and then for this last um setup it was actually easy this is when i used all my three light setup the key light the fill light and the backlight now i'll just turn on the fill light and yeah voila you'd have it so if you followed from the beginning um it was actually to show you that as i was lighting this i started lighting from the back started lighting from the back i just put back this to zero yeah, I lit the background and after lighting the background, I I put my fill light and then after the fill light, I put my key light and you'd get something that looks like this. Something that looks beautiful and elegant. So for, of course you can change the background colors to anything you want to. Um, Something like that is nice also. Um, something more dark brown is also nice. Something dark is also nice. Yeah. So that is how basically I created the three arenas. Um, this is part of my of my 30 day challenge to create a render every day and so far i have 10 days and i'm still pushing on i will be posting more tutorials on how i lead the other models that i've, I've worked on oh something that I, I forgot to mention all these lights have a texture to them um that texture is basically to create soft edges around um if i'm to zoom in it's just to create soft edges on the light because if i deleted this you'd have something sharp something that is that doesn't look natural these lights usually studio lights have that kind that, that kind of soft edge to them so if i added a texture here you'd, you'd see the difference see with this one you have a more softer edge as the light spreads out it's uh it gets more softer at the edge you could change it and you have it more 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 softer in the inside and as it comes out it, it also gets softer so um yeah i added a texture to them to give them that soft look thank you guys for following up with the tutorial uh, i'll make sure to create more of this content and if you like and leave a like you can hit the like button subscribe to the channel and let's keep the channel growing this is my first video i hope to make more of this as we continue and yeah thank you